What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you four ways to find studs in a wall. Now the first way is going to be the cheapest and then I'm gonna work myself up to the most expensive tool. So the cheapest way to find a stud in a wall is by knocking. You'll hear a hollow sound and then you'll hear a solid sound and that's when you know that is a stud located right there. So right here, you hear that sound and then you mark it X. And then you do it the other side. To confirm, if you don't have a really great ear for sounds, then the next one for sure will be a lot simpler and it's very inexpensive. The next step is to find a Neo magnet. Well, I got this magnetic stud finder. This one I like because it has a built-in level. This is really easy to use, very inexpensive. You just run it across the wall like this. Um, I would go scan the wall every 24 inches because sometimes studs are 16 inches traditionally in the United States they could be up to 24 inches so you want to wave it back and forth like two feet and then go down and keep on going down and then you'll feel it attract to the drywall screw that's in the stud so how the builders put up the drywall, they put up the drywall and they use a drywall nail or drywall screw into the studs. And that's how you know there's a stud there. So you wanna hold it very lightly so you feel that the drywall nail or drywall screw and you feel that uh, magnetic attraction right there. And then from that point on, you mark an X and that's where you know there's a, there's a stud right there. The next one is a little bit more expensive, but it's probably the most common this is the electronic stud finder. On, on this particular stud finder, you wanna make sure you have fresh batteries because if your batteries start dying, then you get really bad results. So you wanna press and hold the button on the stud finder. And then you wanna scan it, go left and right. So right here, you'll see there's a red light that shines. That lets you know that's the edge of the stud so that is the right edge of the stud so you mark that and then you go on this side and you hold it and then you slide it over and there we go mark that so you know there's a stud this is the left side of the stud this is the right side of the stud and let's do it again just to confirm there we go you mark it and then always always double check your work all right and there's your stud so it also works for fire blocks and then you scan on the other side as well and then you know where the fire block is in the wall now, even though the magnetic stud finder in most cases it won't find the fire block in the wall because the builders don't put drywall nails or drywall screws into the fire block the knocking technique can work because you'll hear a solid sound behind the wall but once again the knocking technique isn't the most scientific isn't the most accurate way to find studs now the best way to find a stud or anything in the wall is the wallabot this thing is awesome and they just lowered the price. This only works for Android phones, not iPhones. But I believe later on, iPhone may be uh, compatible with this. So as of right now, what you get in the kit is the Wallabot. This is the DIY kit. Uh, you'll get this plastic skin that protects your walls. And it, you just slap it on to the flat surface of the Wallabot. And then you'll get uh, tacky sticker right here and you put that right there that's gonna stick on to your phone it's reusable but I have wax paper right here to protect it from any dust and debris it's, it's a sticky mat basically and on the bottom we have the micro USB port so your phone is gonna power this device so make sure your phone is fully charged now it comes with two adapters this is a micro USB to micro USB adapter. If your phone is micro USB, then you would use this adapter. Since I have a Samsung S9 phone, which is type C, I'm gonna use the type C to micro USB. So it only has those two adapters. And then you plug it into the Wallabot. 
take off the wrapper. You wanna download the DIY Wallabot app. All right, now we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna slap it on just like that. And I'm gonna plug it in. And then you wanna choose default and hit okay. All right, it is connecting and it's now connected. So it works for drywall and concrete. All right, so I'm gonna use drywall. All right, and every time you take the Wallabot off the drywall, you have to calibrate it. We're gonna place the Wallabot right here and press calibrate and select start. And you wanna turn it counterclockwise, just like so. It'll tell you when to stop. All right, calibration is complete. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna try, now we're gonna select images and the app is gonna detect and guess what's, logically guess, what's behind the wall. So I'm gonna slide it over and right here it says wooden stud. I keep on going and right here it detected a pipe or a wire. As you can see, this is my flex bit right here. And as I move it, it moves on the screen. So this is real time monitoring. And if I turn it this way, I detect the fire block. So here's the fire block in the wall. As you can see, this is the cable. All right, so now that we chose images, let's try a different mode. We're gonna try expert mode right here. And we're set at, um, right now it is set at 70% of sensitivity. And we're gonna scan across and as you can see, it detected the stud. But if you turn it this way and scan down, this is the fire block that's in the wall. And we'll scan across again. It detects the wire, you see that? You might have to increase the sensitivity. So right there, it's detecting the wire. And if you turn it this way and scan down, they'll detect the fire block. 